Many of you visiting New York have the World Trade Center on your must-see list. If you're visiting the area, a good place to start is with the memorial reflecting pools. Each pool is nearly one acre in size and they contain the largest man-made waterfalls in North America. The pools stand in the footprints of the original North and South Towers and they are ringed with the names of the nearly 3,000 people that lost their lives on September 11th and those killed during the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. While you are in the area, you will see that this is very much a work in progress, with buildings two and three of the World Trade Center not yet completed. The current completed buildings are number four World Trade Center, number seven World Trade Center, and number one World Trade Center, now the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. It reaches 1,776 feet tall, symbolizing the year that the United States declared its independence. The prism-shaped building that you see contains the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Don't be fooled by the size of the exterior. The main exhibition space is actually several stories below ground. If you're looking to save money on your trip, the museum is free on Tuesdays from 5 p.m. until close. Tickets are handed out first come, first serve, starting at 4 p.m. All visitors to the museum will enter in the area that you see here. While you're in the plaza, look for the survivor tree. This pear tree was found in the rubble at the World Trade Center, carefully rehabilitated, and then returned here to the plaza in 2010. 